So if you've been enjoying the uh, dulcet tones of whoever this is, uh, <laughs> unfortunately I've got to squelch it. Um, because eventually I will cross post this to Twitter, so, I mean to uh, YouTube, so I do not want to trigger the uh, YouTube uh, copyright DMCA engine. But don't worry, we'll have some engine sounds here pretty quickly. So I apologize that the live stream is going so late tonight. Uh, I have been defeated and befuddled by a number of technical problems, stretching all the way back to uh, tonight's podcast on the E2KG network. So that has spilled over into the live stream as well. Uh, let's head to the events. Now, we've been doing a rally. And... Uh, so I already so I already ran the contemporary open, so now I'm on to the Welsh Valley Rally. I want to see vehicle. And my only problem is, so I'm really interested in switching vehicles. But I don't know how that works with sponsorship, so I'm a bit concerned about that. Uh, so we're going to stay in this NR4 R4 class. Vehicle list. Oh, that's a, so I have no team offers. I guess I have to stick with this vehicle. I'm wondering what will happen if I go to R5. Since my vehicle is zero, do I have... Is that, that's weird, so why does that not... Shit, hold on. At R4, team offers are zero. But if I go to R5... Does not say team offers. It says my vehicle zero because I haven't purchased a vehicle in here. My question is: is so why is Mitsub my question is why is Mitsubishi the only one available? Weird. Now here I have both the Ford Fiesta and the Opal available. So that says there's three vehicles. That says there's no vehicles. That says there's one vehicle. Alright, so clearly I'm gonna just gonna continue running the Subaru. Change delivery, but I'm not. Now this allows you to buy vehicles, but garage dealership classifieds. Okay, so what's actually going on is these are the. God damn it! No, 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 no. What's actually going on is uh, these are the vehicles that I own. Okay. So the question really... No, 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 no. What happened? Why... Why is the other class not open now? What the... Mikhail? Okay. I think what it's showing is that I have two vehicles, four vehicles are eligible. So let's try this again. Okay. 
I own one. Three are eligible. That makes sense. I own one. There are no... Are there none eligible? I don't own any here, and there's one eligible. So let's see. If that's the case, then... But it's allowing me to start in the Subaru. Sorry, I just I ended the last session uh, futzing around with trying to understand what vehicles are eligible here because I've been racing the Subaru. So I think I've raced the Subaru through all of the events in R3 so far. And I'm really looking to kind of switch vehicles up. So maybe, maybe it doesn't even matter. Maybe the point is I just need to pick something. Oh, maybe the point is I need to pick something different. I guess I'm actually going to... I have no... Should just seem to drive four. I guess for tonight, I'm just going to drive the Subaru, if it allows me to. I guess I need to also keep an eye on Twitter. Come on. Got a little menu thingy here. only thing that I dislike about the mobile application is it does not allow me to not stream the video, so I prefer to not have that bandwidth taken up. There's my display settings here. Okay, well, I, now I really apologize because I'm just pulling my head out and realizing there's actually a bunch of people in the live stream, so uh, for anybody who's observing, I do apologize. It is a bit of a discombobulated night, so uh, let's try and go ahead and get started here. So we are loading up. I will try and, uh, since I've been boning this up, I'll try and uh, keep my time on admin down to a minimum. So again, I, <laughs> so if you're wondering why we're not hearing any audio, that's because unfortunately, uh, because uh, again, I plan to eventually cross post this to YouTube. Um, Blast. I need to look at the here. All right, so let's get it started. I'm not super confident in my shoe selection for tonight. But unfortunately, with a wheel and pedal, shoe selection actually does make a difference. And once again, I also didn't look at the surface of the track, which I really need to. It's really slick gravel. Hairpin right. Car sliding down the hill without my foot even on the accelerator. So welcome aboard to another live stream. For my YouTube gaming channel, Routing Off Affinity. My name is Gaskin yes. Stamets from GearWorks.com and the E2KG Network Podcasting Channel on YouTube. This. Oh, stupid, 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 stupid. So, the second right now. I've got to remember that on gravel with the super, I've got to keep the speed I'm under my top and break way early. Keep middle over crest. Right four over bumps. Don't cut in 
So as I said, as I mentioned, this is uh, another in my series called the Replication Anecdotes, which is uh, my Let's Play videos. Let's Play video series that concentrate on simulation games and particular action games. So there are a lot of people differentiate between uh, true simulations and more actually arcade type games. I go just because I can't have like 59 different genre brands for my live stream series. Very tempting to go at top speed over that right now. Left six, keep middle over crest. Sixty, crest. I'd just really like to lay down all the power that the Subaru can generate, but it has a problem with this uh, some of the slick gravel. Come on, straighten it up. So usually on Monday nights, uh, regularly scheduled live streams go. Scheduled to go at 11 p.m. Eastern, but but I also have a podcast on Monday nights, and uh, perfect, good job, well done. Tonight was the first episode that I filmed in uh, September with that particular podcast set up, so. I generally rotate uh, studio setups, uh, generally at the beginning of the month or every 30 days. Sometimes that's not always in sync with the calendar beginning of the month. So uh, there are a few technical difficulties in getting OBS set up. up or in fact, we didn't get OBS set up to do local recording tonight. We just wound up doing the live stream through uh, Google Hangouts to the YouTube channel. Had a problem with sound, and that has spilled over to my live stream setup. My problem was, again, with audio and getting this running, and for some reason, uh, so both the gaming PC and the streaming PC, obviously, between last week's live stream and this week's, uh, went into sleep mode. Um, and when I reconnected everything back up, uh, what is going on here? This seems to be taking an incredibly long time to upload my results. And that may be because I'm live streaming. I don't remember. Does it always upload results after every round? Upload failed. Your result cannot be uploaded. Make sure you're signed in. Do you want to retry? Uh, sure. I suspect the upload is failing because all the bandwidth is being taken up by the live stream, but it's a bit worrisome. Because I didn't have this problem last time, and I'm not sure what the issue is tonight. know what's going on here at all. Seem to be having multiple bandwidth issues. Should not normally be the case. I say okay. Since, like I said, my main concern is getting the live stream rolling. not 
even be looking at the right thing. In fact, I think I'm not. Or was it, rather? Alright. Let's go ahead and rock this. Okay, good luck out there. The notes are good. Just listen to me. We're going to be fine. So, unfortunately, I chose a pair of <laughs> my uh, Four, pool or deep shower shoes to wear. <laughs> Not giving you the best stick. And actually, I have made. Joke about this, but but really, shoe selection when using the really pedal is almost as important as uh, any other right one. So the other piece of equipment selection, if you don't get good traction on the pedals, and even for the socks, for the socks in the footwear, then uh, it can cause problems. This is really tight. I really like the power of the Subaru and the yeah, speed, but and generally I prefer a vehicle with a lot of oversteer. I typically tune cars for oversteer in other racing games, but man, a lot of these tracks I've been racing in this particular circuit, this really loose gravel has given me a ton of problems and the Subaru seems particularly not well suited. Wait, am I really in 11th? Mm. I think this is one of these instances where I've just got a particular stage that, uh, you know, those initial turns, uh, no, damn it, great, no, don't get, woo, Alright, so see, I made time up there uh, when I got to the long streets. It always cracks me up that in World Rally, you can fly and be particularly fine at 80 miles per hour, and uh, where you can wind up having a problem is that, like, on like a 30 mile per hour turn. <laughs> Tighter sections though. Gotta start getting a handle on it. I'm having to push the sections where I'm really not comfortable doing so. Square right. A lot more two wheel, a lot more two pedal driving. second? 
Yeah, now I see, I think that time it uploaded fine, so I don't know what was going on the first time around. This has a third, actually it has a third and fourth stage. I will have some time to do some uh, repairs next time, next round, this upcoming stage. So let's quickly talk about the technology and uh, hardware that's being used to render the live stream tonight. So uh, on uh, video game capture, I'm using the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 2. And I'm going to go ahead and talk through this entirely before I go to this one stage because it's been particularly hard for me to drive and talk through the technology at the same time. Uh, so tonight we're using the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 2, uh, which is uh, the GCE 551. Uh, I also have the preceding model, the GC 550. Uh, this is one of Avermedia's new external cards that has the capability of 4K pass-through. Uh, unfortunately, as far as I can tell, I don't think um, Dirt 4 has 4K uh, assets in it. So uh, I, I needed to actually look that up, but uh, when I go through the game menus, I didn't see uh, 4K resolution available. Um, so for the webcam, I'm using the Logitech uh, C920 uh, webcam, which is a very popular webcam in use by streamers. Uh, for voiceover commentary, I'm using a Rirai 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo jack condenser microphone. It's a typical kind of run-of-the-mill uh, mic that uh, is available on Amazon uh, for a pretty low price. Um, for in-game audio tonight, I'm using a pair of uh, Sony MDR-V700 uh, studio monitors. Um, so all of this equipment is being run over to the streaming PC, uh, which is the secondary uber box and uh, that pc is running an amd ryzen uh, 5 1600 x i believe um 24 gigabytes of ddr 2666 megahertz ram and an nvidia geforce gtx 1070 which is what i have set and configured uh, as the encoder for the live stream the gaming pc i'm on um, is my primary uber box and it is running an amd Ryzen 7, uh, blah, 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 1700X, I think, uh, 24 gigabytes of 2666 megahertz RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. Um, and on the software side uh, for the live stream tonight, I am using uh, OBS uh, with, the, uh, with, uh, with the advanced uh, video uh, encoding settings uh, with uh, keyframe interval set to 3. Uh, I think I'm running at like uh, 3.2 megabits per second because the max for uh, Periscope live streams is 4, uh, and OBS tends to uh, run a little bit higher than whatever you set it for, so you need to set it a little bit lower uh, to give you some headroom. Uh, similarly, on uh, audio encoding, I'm running at uh, 80 kilobits per second uh, because the uh, max that Periscope slash Twitter permits is 96 kilobits per second, so I need to give myself a little overhead for the overrun that OBS typically generates. Uh, I'm using four studio uh, lamps tonight, so two standing pole lamps and two portrait lamps. Uh, and actually, I need to, this happens every time. For some reason, this uh, other portrait lamp, um, between when I set it and when I start, seems to always slip. Uh, that's because I don't have a nice flat surface for it to sit on. Uh, so like I said, normally, uh, for the month of September, the regularly scheduled live streams... Let's see what we got here under here, repair vehicle. Recommended repairs are what? Five minutes on the dampers. Light damage to the dampers? I'm going to do no fix on that. So generally, uh, in this game, uh... Yeah, I don't want to... What did I not do? Go to stage. I don't want to repair it. Alright, good position. We'll get some cash flow for parts. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Straight forward, press. Dip, keep middle over press. 
trapped a second. I think we can improve on that next stage. <sighs> Check to make sure that my uh, webcam placement was still good. <sighs> Last stage. I need to get a bit of coffee here. And I really need to put the top on this because uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Maybe you can, but the table definitely shakes a lot with the wheel and pedals. It's probably not the smartest thing for me to have it up there. Now, while playing, a little boxy box. So, uh, the thing that undid me tonight and caused a significant delay while setting up for the live stream is uh, the, the channel virtual, the sound virtualization virtual sound channelization, whichever it is, um, dumped for some reason uh, when the when both PCs uh, were in sleep mode and when I brought them back up for some reason it didn't catch. Uh, so the problem was actually on the... Uh, again, I missed what my actual standard was. was a big crash earlier. Great. Um... So the problem was actually on the gaming PC and not on the streaming PC end. And I was wrapping myself around the axle on the streaming PC. Dumb, 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 dumb. So what happens uh, when... When you're using a game capture card that does not allow you to jack directly into the card to catch the in-game audio, uh, you have to virtualize the sound on PC, which means in order for me to listen to it, I have to send it through the onboard sound card as the primary output channel, and then to send it concurrently over HDMI I have to uh, use a virtual recording device that's listed in the sound devices. And set that recording input to listen so that the uh, recorded sound actually plays out loud on the channel rather than kind of silent recording which is usually the default for a Windows recording device and then you have to set the levels to you know, I guess 100% so what happens is, is that uh, hardware-wise, the sound comes out over the Realtek sound card where I unplugged in to the front panel. That's where I have the Sony MBR V700s plugged into. And then Windows uh, sends it over a virtualized reroute to send it concurrently to HDMI. Now the other way it could be done, if I had displays that had stereo outputs that were worth a crap, uh, the other thing I could do is I could plug in to a sound output, to a hardware sound output upstream of where I'm getting the game capture. And in this particular setup, what I would do is 
I would grab the output out of the LG 27-inch uh, 4K monitor that I'm gaming on. But the problem is, is that I've got three LG monitors uh, in the studio right now. Uh, two 4K monitors and one ultra-wide. Uh, all, all of them, and I guess this is endemic to the LG product lines, all of them have crappy stereo output jacks. Uh, there's always like, sound bursts and static and all that stuff on the thing, so it doesn't impact the live stream or you know, if I'm doing game capture, it doesn't impact the local capture, but See, it's it's really impossible to game with, particularly for games where sound is important. Now, you know, how important is sound on a racing game? Well, it depends on the racing game. I mean, a lot of times I shift based on, or a lot of times I break or uh, how I drive in a turn. I keep it's based on sound. Things. So when I hear the engine downshift the number of blips and hear it get to a certain sound that I associate with, you know, a lower gear or a certain RPM, you know, that, that's when I might break or that's when I might start my acceleration out of the turn. It also aggravates me because sometimes I feel like I look up as I finish the stage and I'm in first, but then sometime between here and getting the marshal, then it drops me down. I feel like... Perfect. Good job. Well nope. Held on to it. Way to go! So again, for the month of September in general, what I'm trying to get to is uh, regularly scheduled live streams on Monday nights, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern. And then uh, the early morning live stream. So that's the late night live stream. The early AM live stream I have planned for Thursday mornings from 4 to 6 AM Eastern again. Uh, which will really kind of wind up being like 4 to 5.15, 5.30, hopefully, if I get started on time. Um, I think this time I will know that if I'm seeing, if I'm not seeing in-game audio come across into OBS... Alright, well this is what I was worried about. I completely was missing uh, checking where I was in the championship standings. So that may be the first overall championship that I've won in a given rally. i pleased with that. Give me a little cheddar. Now, if you're unable to join in the live streams, you can always go to my YouTube channel, Rounding Off Infinity. Awesome. You can now go door to door in Rallycross, the fastest growing motorsport in the world. 
livery license boxer. Very cool. I haven't entirely got my head wrapped around uh, what the progression model in this game is. So, wow, so that, uh, that is the Welsh Valley Rally. Uh, and this one unlocked. So this looks like I have one car that can participate in the event, and there is one additional car that is eligible, I think. So I should be reading these symbols. And I think I have enough time to get one more. Oh, we've got some email. Sponsor offers. Okay, what, am, what am I supposed to do about that? No, nope, I'm not going to do that. Repco. So I'm a big variety gamer, variety streamer. I play a lot of different games. Uh, the month of September, however, I will be here, uh, at, again, at the primary Uber Boxing. Uh, with the wheel and pedal, so I will play, be playing all racing games. I, my intention tonight was to play some Stock Car Extreme, uh, but again, I was running late. I was really, I have not played that game before, so I was really reluctant to. So I think this is I'm level eleven, but I'm still inexperienced. Now I I don't know that this game takes you across multiple seasons, so. Will I ever get experience in the course of a single season of World Rally Championship? I don't know. Okay, so let's try and go with the kit car, I guess. You can do the Peugeot 306 Maxi now. Uh, so I have to be level 12. Alright, so don't have that. No team offers. No, no, no. Buy Nabbit. Remember, I thought I. Yeah, so I can. I thought I knew. I mean, I know what vehicles I have, right? So I have the Subaru, I have the Ford Fiesta. I don't know if the Fiesta is eligible for this race. Let me hit the dealership. Uh, so this is this class, right? What I want to do is I want to buy... The, there's the Mitsubishi. Let's go ahead and buy that. Yes. So now I have the Lancer. Livery, right. I want livery or branding suite. I'm in a livery. Uh, I guess that's Spacey Lancer. Where's my branding suite? I'm assuming that that's my own personal livery for my race team. And I'm guessing... Sponsors on number four. Oh, look at this. I've been getting all sorts of sponsors. How 
what do I, oh, okay. Maybe I did have a sponsor on there, I don't know. Two championships. Uh, so I can only have one sponsor at a time. So I think what I did was maybe I had a sponsor and then I it expired and I didn't check back here to replace it. Negotiation. This facility increased capacity for more sponsors. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, that's fine, right? I need to figure out, and I have not been doing well. Okay, so now I'm in the Lancer. I've got my branding on. I've got my sponsorship. Delivery, sell vehicle, buy vehicles, branding suite. What I have not been doing... Fine on vehicles. I've already checked the mailbox. Staff break. Yeah, so this is what I've been missing. This whole menu item here. Staff branding and sponsors facilities. Yeah. I haven't even been improving these at all. Basic lounge. It's most likely to develop negative traits. Cost is 10k. Okay, so I now have that. Basic workshop. Okay, so I already had that. Oh, I can't get that to level fifteen. Okay. As I mentioned, I'm still trying to figure. Out, I just haven't spent the time digging into what the progression model of this game is. Basic accommodation. It's going to give me an additional engineering position. I wonder if this is the thing that's... Yeah, so this is going to give me an extra sponsor slot. Basic R&D. Okay, so we can't do that. So I'm going to hold up here. And hold on to any additional monies that I have. Branding and sponsors. So I should have an additional sponsor slot available. And even though I'm technically a little bit over my time, I am going to go ahead and push to get it in one more event. Sponsors. So that's my extra sponsor slot. Repco.
All for quality, okay. Now where's the Repco branding on the vehicle? Not sure I see that anywhere. Select or close it. Oh, there it is. Right here on the door. Alright. Very cool. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. You also have to manage your staff here. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I haven't been paying attention to. Huh, that's interesting. So he's a higher quality rating, but uh, he is free. Whereas these other yokels cost money. Alright. Now is that because... Wait, wait, wait. Do I already have Nakamura on staff? No. Spotters, you can't really. One of my questions is with this guy is there anybody else available? Mood neutral trait unknown. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, 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 no. He's upbeat, jack of all trades. Perk is the wash bucket. The question is, are there any, like, D or C class employees available? Everybody's an E. Harris. Nope, nobody there. Having a good PR agent is important to bring in new sponsors and better contracts. Alright, so don't have any... Looks like this might be a kind of long career progression loop available here, which is great for replay value. Right, I think I'm going to try and squeeze in one more event. And then I'm going to get out of here. Let's go over to events. Career. Rally. So I think this is what I'm up to next. So I'm in the Mitsubishi, right? That's at four stages. Oh, hard top. I gotta start paying attention to this. So it's smooth asphalt. So now, another thing I do in addition to uh, the YouTube channel uh, and my blog is uh, is uh, participate as a member of the E2KG Network, so it's a podcasting uh, network with a channel on YouTube, uh, where we do uh, two gaming shoes weekly, weekly uh, E2KG Deep Dive, which is our news-oriented discussion show covering all the events that happened, all the major events that happened in the gaming industry the preceding week. I 
and that's uh, that goes down Monday night. Now here's another thing. I have not again been paying attention to is vehicle upgrades. I don't know. Guessing I can't bump anything to B without an R&D department. I'm going to track briefing targets, options. You're going to be uncovered given because of the hard barriers. But what's also not good is that uh, it locks up. Because uh, I didn't do a practice round, so I'm driving the car cold. Ugh. Have to be under a bit more control, it seems like, because the tires tend to lock up. There's a leash of the Subaru on the gravel tracks. You know, the uh, vehicle would oversteer. Get it loose here, you're going to be paying a big price. Need to get to the first uh, split so I can see from on or off base. Rather. Then. Now again, with a surface that doesn't lend itself to oversteer, uh, two three, pedals using that to twist the vehicle are not as effective. We really gotta. Into left three long opens. Into right six. Into right six. Do a little bit more left pumping the throttle. Keep right over crest. Left three. That's a hard barrier. Right four. Let's clip that thing back two turns ago. I don't have a good feel for how this car oversteers. Feels a little stiffer than the Subaru. Now again, if I'm able to get it around the track quickly enough, and I'm pretty close to the end of the stage, I might actually be okay. Right three, through dip. Right left three. six over crest. Right one, through dip. And left four, sixty. To finish. Right the other side. I think I held on to first. Looks like it. Awesome result. Unbeatable. Way to wrap up the live stream. Mm -hmm. All right, so next week, uh, I'm not exactly certain. I'm obviously really enjoying <laughs> Sessions of Dirt 4, so I may continue to play Dirt 4. Uh, oh, man, is this going to take me to a stage that's going to force me to drive it? Yeah, I think this... Okay, so I think I can quit out at this point, and it'll save it here and bring me back into this championship in Stage 2. So, assuming that's the case, thanks so much for joining in on the live stream if you happen to pop in and check it out on Twitter. Uh, if you didn't and you're watching the archive version of this on the YouTube channel, Rounding Off Infinity, again, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, one piece of equipment that I didn't mention um, as we rolled through all the tech is I didn't mention that with the microphone, I am also using a uh, noise isolation uh, shield, uh, which is a new piece of equipment that I've been trying to test out with microphones to see if it helps buffer 
uh, a lot of the uh, fan noise um, that I get off of the uh, gaming and live streaming PCs. So, again, thanks so much for joining in. My name has been Agassi Lee Stamos from Gearworks.com and the E2GG Network podcasting channel on YouTube. Please go to both of those channels and check out the content that's available there. Please feel free to like any video that you see. Uh, if you dislike a video, please give me some feedback. Um, I, I worry a little bit when people dislike a video uh, and don't give me any feedback that the thing that they dislike uh, is the product that I'm reviewing or the game that I'm playing. Uh, if there's something that you don't like about the live stream, let me know. Um, if you don't like me covering the technology that supports live streaming and game captures, let me know that. If you want me to talk more about the game, whatever it is that, uh, you know, torques you off about the video, just give me some feedback. Uh, make it kind and respectable and just, uh, you know, good constructive criticism uh, does not hurt. I'm definitely interested in hearing feedback. I don't have comments enabled on every video. Uh, if you run into a video that doesn't have comments enabled, come back here to Twitter and give me your feedback uh, here. Uh, you know, in whatever, uh, you know, Twitter tweet that I make that uh, that uh, advertises the video. So thanks again. That's going to do it for me. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, catch me Thursday morning again at 4 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so 4 to 5.30, 4 to 6 a.m. Eastern every Thursday in the month of September right here on my Twitter account streaming um, through Periscope Producer um, in support of uh, at Twitter Gaming. So thanks again. I'm out.